communication follows a certain process, usually. Um, in professional communications, it's pretty obvious. Uh, you, the project, the company, you spend money on something. And for that money that you consider investment, you will get out more money in the end. And what you propose to someone buying your product is you say it's a win-win situation because if you spend money on my product, you will be able to use it and you will have more money uh, with whatever you're doing later on. So that's the process that you're proposing. So what's critical in that process is that you make sure that the other one trusts you in whatever you're proposing. Pretty obvious. So the... A uh, pitfall here is that you think that your personality, whatever you say, or the information that you give someone is bridging that gap of trust. You can never make somebody trust by adding more information all the time. Okay, it might be um, useful for the insecurity about how something works. But that personal factor, the trust factor, you will not bridge in a way the more you argue, the less trust you will get, maybe, because people think, why is that person talking so much to me? Are they, what, why are they, in a, you know, this sort of thing. So, adding more information and sort of reaching out more and more in a way with more information is not conducive to building trust. You need to consider who is actually talking to the people, their social identity. Are you reaching people with that social identity that you are um, installing in your project? If experts keep talking with their PhDs underneath, with their particular personality, is that going to reach certain people that have a completely social, uh, completely different social identity? So that might not be useful. So think about the trust. That's important, how you build that.